Hey Fuerte friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Trisha Fuerte and this is Fuerte Body and this is our 30th Fuerte Body break. 30 like me, but 30, not like 30 years like me, but 30 videos strong and counting. If you're like, please tell me what's a Fuerte Body break please keep watching and also if you'd like to hear our affirmation of the day which i hope you do because we all deserve it keep watching as well but i'm gonna get to yapping because apparently one i need to get better at that and two in this new age of youtube it's yapping first and then getting to know me later so today what are point to body break is about what we're checking in about what we are talking about is what I've been talking about really uh, not just in my life uh, or on my Instagram or on my TikTok or on YouTube shorts and now a few for to body breaks um, it's about how artists need to use their art and their platforms and their voices and their capital really to stand up um, against the injustices happening in our world and leading by example and really using the mics that are given to them and taking the moment where eyes are on them and when they have a stage to to send a message that change uh, can happen with all of us have like working together <laughs> including them they have a huge part that they can play and should play in this because they can make an impact they have millions of followers on social media millions of people watch their shows watch their movies go to their concerts and they absolutely can um be using that to create change so i've talked about uh, most recently really mm, celebrities who are the opposite of everything that i just said so like miss taylor carbon emissions swift and uh who apparently has a new song um on her new album about wanting to live in the 1830s like don't get me started and then also like miss Ariana constantly changing her race with her voice and makeup, grande, and stealing husbands, grande. Um, so while those type of celebrities do exist, I do want to take a moment <laughs> to acknowledge and name and appreciate just artists that are at the top of my head who I've been seeing consistently um, being very public and direct and um, just unwavering in their their support for Palestine and and other marginalized communities that they have been speaking up for Rami Youssef being one of them Rami in his Saturday Night Live monologue, the Saturday Night Live monologue stage is a huge stage and to say free Palestine in his monologue and to beautifully weave in this story of how he was on the phone with his friend who has family in Gaza. And then um, also he was in Poor Things, an Oscar nominated um, film this year. And he was on the award season red carpets, multiple red carpets. I've seen different interviews with Rami uh, calling for a permanent ceasefire, saying free Palestine. So again, very direct, very public, very explicit in uh, one day. Uh, one day I'll figure out how this phone stand suction back thing works. Um <laughs> But much, much love to Rami. I want to see more of that. Um, also, Susan Sarandon. Susan Sarandon, everything. I, I have seen Susan, Sar Susan Sarandon at multiple protests now, um, not just for Palestine. So that is 
amazing. Uh, and I saw her in Washington. I think she went to the, the second Washington March also. And then um, at the the Millions March in Washington Square Park, uh, she was also there. And also, most recently, this week, she was at the Columbia encampment solidar gaza solidarity encampment so since susan sarandon is out there and her talent agency dropped her i think but clearly susan doesn't care and it's so it's just so obvious that's what's important to susan is using her voice um for this so that's that's my stepmom susan sarandon um also at that Millions March in Washington Square Park, Sarah Ramirez, um, most recently known for And Just Like That and in the Sex in the City spinoff. And I believe they dropped them from the show because they've been vocal about Palestine. Um, but Sarah Ramirez is also was in Chicago, was in a lot of, was is famous for Broadway, um, and was also in Grey's Anatomy. So also just using their, their platform on social media and out here in New York City. I've also seen them multiple times, um, just from a distance and in community and their speech. Oh my gosh, their speech. Them and, um, I believe their name is Ren and they're, um Instagram is the official Jake Gillen Halal. Um Sarah's speech and then their Ren's speech is on India Moore's Instagram and I really encourage you to watch it. Um so so beautiful. Um and also just touches and uplifts uh and holds so so dearly uh the palestinian queer community the palestinian non-binary community and trans community and um just reminding us that they exist too um and so please please watch their their speeches please watch their speeches um Speaking of India Moore, yes, India Moore from Pose, uh, also not just uh, speaking of for Palestine, but so many other important um, causes towards a revolution, towards liberation. Um, so, so please, I'll, I'll put all of these people <laughs> in the um in the description below give them a follow do a deep dive just i want to see more of that especially for those artists who are are at the celebrity level it reminds me how i saw a tweet um that said aretha franklin when angela davis was on the fbi's most wanted list she either she did or she either she offered or she did uh pay for um, Angela Davis's bail like that's that's where that's where we need to be especially for those artists with that platform and capital um, another artist um, Melissa Barrera um, this is my Scream Scream 6 poster specifically right there uh, and the Scream franchise dropped Melissa because she's been vocal about Palestine but she hasn't stopped and she has a new movie out so it's it's not stopping her career either uh, and she's been so what all of these artists have in common is just that they're consistent uh they're unwavering they're public they're explicit and they're non-stop and they're out there with the people so that's what um I just want to take a moment to show gratitude for and appreciate and um, am inspired by. I want to channel and hope that others, other celebrities um, and other small artists just like me um, can remember it's possible to to create art and have a large audience, but still stay grounded in in our values 
this, um, all of this, uh, there is a more beautiful way of saying it. And that is with the words of um, D the Zatriarch on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, they have this thread that I saw and I screenshotted it. It's just so beautiful and it captures everything that I'm trying to say in just a more beautiful way. I don't have it memorized, so I'm going to read it off my laptop. Um, but it says, because it's about how there may be fans that are like, why? Why? Uh, art is for entertainment. Sure, it is. But art should be used as a vessel and as a tool to lift other people up and to to liberate communities it should and it has been our ancestors have been using art for that exact same reason uh and we've seen it just be um be proven worthy and be proven um be a proven way of um bringing community together and bringing liberation okay the quote or the thread is again it's by d the zatriarch and i will also put their um link in the description it says activism and art go hand in hand so it baffles me when people say that artists aren't supposed to be mouthpieces of resistance that they aren't supposed to be political Art is political. The most impactful and worthwhile art challenges us, evokes emotions from within us we have been taught to abandon. It is one of the most vital instruments we have at our disposal to tap into relationally. This is why so many quote unquote radicals are also creatives, poets, writers, singers, musical geniuses, visual artists, performing artists, etc. Creativity is the antithesis of colonialism and fascism. While colonial harm and fascist regime threatens to tear down and destroy everything that makes life worth living, the act of imagining and creating defies their trajectory of a barren, lifeless world. It asks, us, it asks of us, how can we see the world differently? How can we bring these imaginings into fruition with our bare hands, our voice boxes with language and words? How can we reclaim agency of these bodies capitalists have marked as disposable labor, labor machines? Disposable labor machines. That's what they marked us as. And raw materials. Tapping into creativity is one of the most powerful parts of revolutionary praxis, which is why fascist regimes disdain the arts. They target and attack the arts as a way to weed out resistance and opposition. How else can we sustainably disobey tyrannical authoritarianism? This is why I side-eye people who make excuses for their favorite music or visual artists for keeping their art neutral. There is no such thing as neutral when it comes to creation. It all means something. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise to try to water down the impact of art, boiling it down to nothing but vapid pleasantries. Art has teeth. Do not defang it. Go free yourself, artistically and literally. Ugh. I love that so much. And that's literally... That's literally everything I was trying to say at the beginning, but more beautifully said, as you can hear. And I couldn't even, I couldn't even, it was so, I was so moved. Um, I'll, I'll definitely have to say it again out loud to do it justice um, sometime, but it's just so, um, I hope, I hope that speaks to you um, the way that it speaks to me. I just, that's exactly what it's about. Okay, without further ado, if you're still here, thanks. Thanks for sticking around. Um, 
if you're like, you're going to tell me what a Fuerte body break is? Fuerte body breaks are a moment for me to check in with my body, remind y'all to check in with your body. Uh, they are unedited, unfiltered, raw files, raw feelings, straight from the heart, straight to the phone, straight to CapCut to add closed captionings <laughs> and then straight to YouTube even if my voice shakes clearly like it did reading that beautiful um that beautiful written piece by D the Zatriarch um so even if my voice shakes even if I'm stressed even if I'm depresso like I've said in other other videos <laughs> um it's it's just a moment for us to be here and take care of our bodies and especially if we are also if you're an artist like me using your any creative body bodies of work um for to to help to help people to <laughs> to uplift your community and celebrate your community on communities that we care about um, and just stay in the fight towards liberation that's what it's about their Puerto body breaks we gotta we gotta it's it's for me and y'all to remember we gotta we gotta check in with our bodies in order to stay in this that's what we gotta do and they really help me, so I hope they help you too. So on that note, let's drink our water. Go get your water. Cheers. <sighs> Did you drink your water? Did you drink it? Don't forget to drink your water. Mine has delicious liquid ivy in it. And, um don't forget to wash your water bottle frequently as well i need to wash this one especially if they have a straw like this don't forget to wash it i need to wash this one so you'll probably see a different one tomorrow without further ado again um our affirmation of the day our affirmation of the day is the the whole the whole piece that i just read by d the zatriarch and then it's also I don't know what this is doing to the mic because I need to, again, maybe I should get a mic stand, but, oh, okay, we have it. Let me, let me put this down. <laughs> okay. It says, I believe that I am meant for bigger things and life is happening for me. Life is treating me better because I am no longer settling for less. I know my worth and I believe in my capabilities. The courage and hope in my heart finds its way to all the great things meant for me. And that is by at classy, classy, classy quotes page. Classy, classy quotes page on Instagram. <laughs> Thank you, classy quotes page on Instagram. Um, wow timely they're always timely they're always timely um we're at 18 minutes already but just know that um i read that for you too so please please listen to it back uh and say it to yourself because i want that for you um and i'm so if you <laughs> if you're at the end of this video Thank you. I appreciate you so much. I'm so grateful for all 1,084 Fuerte friends. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. All my love, always and always. I'm Trisha Fuerte, and this is Fuerte Body.